Well, hi all my friends. So, I uh, just uh, had a very long morning. Um, I uh, had to um, call Martin Guitar uh, and my uh, HD uh, 28V Martin uh, that I play, you know, guitar with. The binding came off from the um, from the body. And um, anyway, long story short, um, called a repair guy here, local. He's only 13 miles away from me. And I'll be bringing it to him on Friday. So, yoo-hoo. But he doesn't do refinishing work because Martin don't, doesn't pay for that work. He can glue it. But since it's separated from the, um, the body, it's broken through the finish, you know, that they put on there. So it won't look new. And I just bought it six months ago. So I'm a little heart sick about it. But um, so it's got its first dent. <laughs> um, and apparently uh, talking to um, David Eichelbaum, he, he makes his own guitars. Uh, you can look up his um, website. Um, and uh, he... Uh, makes custom guitars that are just gorgeous and has his own shop and um you know does has has everything at the shop to make these custom guitars and um you know they're like eight ten thousand dollar guitars um so uh i know that he's got attention to detail and that sort of thing and and he'll try to make it look as nice as it can but you know, I, I I wish it was the kind of thing that Martin would say. I'll you know we'll replace the whole thing, but they didn't offer that. So anyway, that's my sad story for the day. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? Um, okay, and keep praying for people in you know in in Florida and uh, and so forth. And now it's going into Atlanta, Jacksonville. It looks like it's heading towards Birmingham and Memphis. So any of you people up in that area, I wish you um, all the best. And, um, um, you know, do, do be aware of, you know, the warnings out there if they tell you to stay. I mean, this flooding is just incredible. The, the, it's the, this, this flooding is, uh, <clears throat> Uh, boy, one Shell gas station just totally tor torn apart. Um, wow, L lots of them are just, you know, completely damaged. Um, uh, you know, some of them, well, anyway, you guys can watch your own news. Um, all right, we're in the Bible here. Uh, we're in Micah chapter 5, a birth of Christ foretold his kingdom and conquest. Um, so here we are in Micah, in the Old Testament, foretelling of Christ's birth. Okay, and so it makes you kind of wonder what, you know, what, what were these Pharisees and Sadducees doing, you know, that they didn't know this, you know, when they saw Jesus standing in front of them. All right, so now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of, tr of troops. He hath laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be little among thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from old and from everlasting. Therefore will he give them up until the time that he which travaileth hath brought forth, then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide for now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. And for this man shall be the peace when the Assyrian shall come into our land, and when he shall tread in our palaces. Then shall we raise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men. And they shall 
and they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword in the land of Nimrod, in the entrances thereof. Thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian, which he cometh into our land, and when he treadeth within our borders. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people, as the dew from the Lord, as showers upon the grass, that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as the lion among the beasts of the forest, and as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treaded down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Thy hand shall be lifted up upon thy adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. And I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all thy strongholds. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Thy graven image also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thy hands. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy cities. And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Chapter 6 God's Controversy of Unkindness for Ignorance for injustice and for idolatry. Hear ye now what the Lord saith. Arise, contend thou before the mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversy and strong foundation of the earth. For the Lord has had con controversy with his people, and he will plead with Israel. O my people, what have I done unto thee, and wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. For I have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed thee out of the house of servants, and I set before thee Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O my people, remember now what Balak, king of Moab, consulted, and what Balaam, the son of Beor, answered him from Shittim into Gilgal, that ye may know the righteousness of the Lord. Wherewithin shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings with calves of a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, for the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul? He hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and what does what doth the Lord require of thee? But, do, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it. And yet, and there yet the treasures of wickedness, wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the scant measure that is abominable, Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? For the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore also will I make thee sick in the smiting thee, in making thee desolate because of thy sins. Thou shalt eat, but not be satisfied. Thy casting down shall be in the midst of thee, Thou shalt take hold, but not, shall not deliver, and that which thou deliverest will I give up to the sword. Th thou shalt sow, but shall not reap. Thou shalt tread olives. Thou shalt not anoint thee with oil and sweet wine, but shall not drink wine. For the statutes of o Omri are kept in all the works of the house of Ahab, and ye walk in their counsels. And I should make thee a desolation, and the inhabitants thereof a hissing. Therefore you shall bear the reproach of my people. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Um, chapter 7 of Micah, and continue later on um, tomorrow. Uh, 
Thank you, Thomas, for your um, your comment to me. Um, it was very helpful this morning. I really appreciated it. And, uh, and, and everybody else's comments on the music as well. Thank you so much. It, it does warm our heart so much uh, to hear from you guys, um, to know that you are enjoying the music. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get this situation figured out with my guitar and um, it's not the end of the world it's just material stuff so you know uh, plastics are hard to glue they've been having problems since the 60s with plastic getting it to glue and stay glued apparently um, so I've never had any binding come off any guitar that I've had uh, ever uh, I've never seen that happen so um, Oh, well, <laughs> not the end of the world, as I said. You have a blessed Monday. Uh, at least we're not in Florida, right? So, you know, um, pray for the families that have lost loved ones. Um, I understand there's quite a bit now. And uh, also the thing that at least some of the news has not shown, earthquake damage that's been happening in Mexico. They haven't even mentioned it because we're concentrating here, of course, on America. But... Um, you know, uh, unless you watch some other news, you know, about that, uh, apparently they've lost at least 50 people, um, if not more, uh, and having terrific aftershocks going on. Uh, and um, so um, 8.2 earthquake happened there. So that was pretty, and 41 miles deep, I think it was. So quite... Um, uh, huge okay and it also has to do with the the sun flares that are you know have come in uh, to us there was an enormous CMA uh, sun flare sent off um, and that reached earth um, just you know on the weekend and Friday and so forth Thursday Friday Saturday and um, uh, that affects our earth as well um, a lot of people still on the road stuck and and so forth and I'm and I'm glad I'm not one of them because I hate to be in a car stuck in traffic and I think you all know how that feels so be praying for people that they keep their cool and um, you know help each other and be helpful to each other and and you know know that this is something we all have to pull together to help each other out with um, and uh, yeah so, I mean, they're right now showing some damage across Florida. Uh, evacuees cannot return yet to their homes because it just flooded out areas. And so if some engineers, some people, somebody can come up with an idea of how to, you know, get rid of that water, that would be really terrific. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, have a blessed day. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to my video. Leave me a comment, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Only if you like it. Okay, thanks. Bye.